having believed himself secure and brave, he woke up in the morning and discharged all of his energy and happiness running and letting his beautiful trunk fly with the wind. But today, he ran more than other days, farther astray than his young eyes could reach. The little elephant found himself lost. While running, he marveled at the sight, smiling to the corners that the untreaded ground revealed him, and propelled by the graceful breeze that gently stroked his skin. Unafraid of what was to come, he was stopping at little details of the landscape, playing with little branches and colors, and waving his cheek to the other animals with astonishment observed the fugacious race of the content animal. But now the little elephant found himself lost. When he arrived at the river bank, he stopped his walk. He did not know how to swim. But before he could draw his little path, the riverbank began to float. Astonished, the little elephant froze and did not know how to react. Now the wave was immense and his little body was dragged along. The river pushed the little elephant until he broke free from his own absorption. He was not paralyzed anymore, but still he did not know how to swim. With a lot of effort, he moved his body to reach the river bank. But this bank was not the one that would bring him back to his mummy. So the little elephant ended up in the other bank of the river lost, scared and breathless. The little elephant found himself lost. Slowly, he began to walk again in search for help. Raised his 
had to confront bravely his own reality. Don't be afraid, little elephant. We will educate you for you to grow here, healthy and happy. For happiness is the ultimate pursuit before the beyond. Will I be happy if you, as I, if I learn to know? The little elephant asked. Or when my way back home, I can find you. will be happy when you understand that also your house is in this land. Again, the little elephant found himself lost.